guys, as I said earlier in one of my previous videos, I'll run you guys through what I did with the with my flow tube. I turned it into a kick boat where you'll normally be sitting down there. This chair will be way down on the floor. I just built this PVC frame that you just put down on your flow tube. I secure it on these little rings here. It's got rings here in the front, two in the back, and then obviously the two in the front. So all I did is I bought the necessary joints, the L joints, T joints, and some PVC glue. I measured how big I wanted it and I glued it all together. Now what this does is this makes it a lot more fishable, the whole platform. So you can see here for the GoPro, I actually put a mounting on that I can have the GoPro and still share what I'm doing while I'm out on the water and I've got another bracket here on the back. Okay. So what I wanted is a, is a working area here next to me where I can put baits and I can put stuff down that won't slide off and fall off. Um, so I use the finer mesh here, the back of bigger mesh, and this is where I can add some other stuff. Um, here's still space behind the seat here. The seat I uh, just secured with, with a strap on the side here. I secured it there and I cable tied it here in front as well. Alright, so what you do is you build this whole frame as you want it. And you just cut this, this PVC mesh the size you need it and you cable tie it. I used quite a bit of cable tie so it can handle weight. And then the same on this side, yeah. Now the reasons I did this, the reason I did this, couple of reasons. To get out of the water, I can just fish with normal shoes, I don't have to wear waders. And if the water is cold, it's not as bad on you. Then most important reason to fit my fish finder and transducer so I can actually use it. I've got the new hook reveal for, for the tube and for the small crafts, which is a fantastic unit I'll run you guys through. It's, it's got built-in mapping now as well. So for smaller dams like this, state dams and farm dams, you can, if, if there's dams you fish regular, you just add the extra memory card or put a memory card in and with two buttons you're recording. Okay, you literally push menu or, or the on button, then it brings a menu up and then you go into maps and you record. That will tell you to select. If you've put another card, it automatically selects the card and it records the whole bottom of that dam for you and that you're going to use as an overlay on your maps uh, which is great it shows you the structure so that's a fantastic feature of the new Lawrence and this is an entry level unit this is a seven inch hook hook being the entry level and it comes in different sizes now hook reveal is the latest model so for that price you now got that feature as well which is great and really helps you even for fly fishing I can't wait to take this to the fly dams one of these days and having a fish finder because that's one thing we miss is even with fly fishing, as with bass, as with most fish, structure plays a massive role in where you find them, where they'll ambush and where they'll lie to feed and when the, the fishing's getting tough, you want to see the bottom, you want to see where they, they'll be sitting and you want to be able to pick up the fish with, these, with this technology. Now you can pick up the fish as well if you know what you're looking for. All right, and then from the Kingfisher store, I just ran in there, I wanted to build uh, some rod, rod racks. Um, but I found these at Kingfisher for really inexpensive, 100 bucks <laughs> that I put on here and you just stick your rod, let me grab a rod and I can show you guys. Alright, so when you're going out, I can now have five rods with me and stow them away. Alright, they just fit in there. And you push down on it and it plugs in, which secures it. It won't fall off the boat while you're fishing with your other rods. Now there's another adjustment I want to make. With this, when you go into the water, you'll normally go that side first. So your rods will stick into the, into the uh, water first. And if there's something in the water, you might break a rod or two. The same with when you're fishing really, um, you know, reeds or bushes or bull racks and you want to get into them this becomes a bit of a problem so what I'm going to do I'm just going to adjust it and fit I bought the pipe it's a smaller PVC pipe and I'm going to fit five of them there or anywhere I'll have a look where I'm going to fit them and that way you let your rods stand straight up another way is to put the the pipe under these and let it swivel so I can fold it I can just lift it up and it stands straight up 
So that's the adjustment I'm going to make to the tube. Everything works great, but just when you, when you want to go into those small areas, you don't want to worry about the rods behind you. Remember you're going backwards with a float tube or a kick boat. You're kicking this side and it's going that direction. And I feel a little uneasy with the rods pointing that direction, not always, you know, your attention might not always be there. And you can't point them to the front because that's your fishing area. That's where you're going to land fish. It will be my way here. So by adding a couple of those small pipes, I think I'll sort that, I'll resolve that problem. But then on this side, I've got uh, a little container. I just cable tied on here. And in here, I've got two batteries, 12 volt motorbike batteries for my fish finder. All right. And all the additional little tackle boxes and things I want to take with. All right, now, in any case, pack a couple of things in here, but you can fit it in there, you can fit it in the bag, in the back. Um, yes, just uh, some plastics that I drive with in, in a little pouch I've got. And that goes just next to me. Whatever I'm going to use, I can just run through it. It's right next to me. And, oh yeah, you guys will notice this little ammo container you get from Builders Warehouse, 120 Rand. I stick this in here, so I'm actually, it's carrying a bit of my weight. But what I've done here, this, this takes water quickly. Okay, so it fills up. This thing fills up with water two thirds at least. But it adds that additional weight. My weight, together with what I have on here, um, makes the, the, you know, the wind can't push you around as easily if, you, if you've got a bit of weight in it. And that's why I do that. Uh, it's not to put anything in. It's just giving that extra security to sit on. Okay, not that, that I need it. I actually initially didn't have it there and it carries, the PVC carries you 100%. And I'm over 100 kilos, <coughs> but this box, by taking up all that water, it just puts weight on the whole tube, which then adds to slow movement with the wind. All right, and then, okay, I've got this box here, the little container where you can put stuff in. Now you can do this, what's nice about this, doing it yourself. This is under a thousand rand, the conversion. Okay, buying all the PVC pipe, the mesh, um, the little container I had, this one I bought and then the seat was with the tube. So just adding all of that. Now this is a snow bee flow tube. Guys, this is a, obviously a next level flow tube. It's not your standard flow tube. It's proper pontoons these. They're not the plastic ones. It's uh, proper PVC. So they don't puncture as easily. Really nice setup. It comes with its own pump. This pole, the chair, and it's got back straps that you can actually carry the whole thing on your back, which goes on to the bottom. You just clip it on to the bottom. Then just for my fish finder, this is what I did, guys. The wires are all cable tied up. And the transducer, you're going to set. I uh, mounted it on a PVC pipe. This is the thinner one I want to use for the rods as well. And that basically just plugs in there. And I've got an arrow where I want to point it. The direction I want to go so I can still see now what's nice about doing this okay the reason I did that is when I'm fishing to my left here the fish finder is maybe pointing that way in that direction on the boat I can just turn it and let it point in the right direction I'm fishing to see what's happening there and see what's going on so if the wind is pushing me and I'm going at a 45 degree angle and I'm busy mapping the dam I just turn it in the right direction that it's going uh, in line with the boat. So when the mat mapping happens, it doesn't leave little gaps and stuff. Right, so in other words, what I'm saying is adjustable transducer. So I can turn it, take it off, I just fold it in and it stays right there. Okay guys, very simple, that's it. My uh, um, GoPro little, uh, how can I put it, tripod. What I did here is I cut a slit in the pipe here and I put a screw in which goes in there. Everything else is glued. But this can't pop out. All right. And it limits it to there. And it limits it to there. What I did is I put the camera on. And I made marks where I need to turn it. This has got full front view like this. Okay. They've got a wide angle. The GoPros. And that's got full view. Past my foot there. And past yeah. So it's got full view. So I don't need more than that. And then I've got a bracket here to add another one. When I'm working on a fish finder and I want to show you guys what I'm doing on the fish finder, uh, we can get an extra shot there. So yeah, in a nutshell,
that's my kick boat and I'm quite chuffed with it we took it to the dam I already saw some some cutaways I tested it now what's nice about this as you would see in our first first testing phase the boat was hanging on the left hand side because of all the extra weight I've got on this side so all you do is I just shift this whole um, whole setup a bit to the right and make marks so I know where to mount it every time I put it on and just secure it there and it will balance out so the next time I go out which we can't in lockdown um, uh, I'll be able to see exactly where to balance it and where should be that off center middle I need because this weight will always be kind of constant uh, with the extra tackle and the bit of tackle you've got on this side adds very little so you can still balance I just move my body weight and everything over a bit to the right and it will balance it but guys yes thank you for watching and if you've got ideas and videos of little DIY things you did that helped your fishing send them to us do a video and send it to my video at azfn.co.za and uh, we'll be happy to put those on remember to subscribe to our channel guys remember to hit that bell notification and like the video if you haven't already that really helps us to grow our channel and thank you for watching